Hey everybody, it's Brie and welcome back to another speed build video. Today we're going to be building a tiny little church on top of a hill. When we were kids, we would always go to this early uh, like Christmas Eve mass that was meant for children. So I do have fond memories of that from my childhood. Um, so I wanted to make this cute little church. I haven't really been in a church in quite a while, aside from maybe attending some weddings. Uh, here and there over the last few years. So I kind of had to Google what the inside of a church looks like uh, other than the pews that line the aisle. I didn't really know what else to include. So I actually did need to Google that just to make sure that I was including some things that actually are usually located inside of churches. So after I got that figured out, I mean, the build was a pretty simple build. It's a pretty tiny um little lot i didn't include any bathrooms or anything like that which in hindsight maybe i should have because it's not that functional of a property but uh it looks pretty cute um you know i, I probably could have included some bathrooms and other rooms and stuff like that but um, again i'm not super familiar with the layout of churches so i just wanted to keep it pretty simple and um you know holiday themed and festive I do like how it's situated on top of this little hill. Uh, this is in Windenburg where I'm building on. So I really like the homes that are in the background of this build. I like all like the forests and I think there's like a little pond or something below as well. And I do like that it's on this little hilltop. I think that that's, um, you know, pretty cozy. And, and usually when I think of like churches in the countryside, they're usually in like a hill or something like that. So. I thought that this was like the perfect lot to build the church on and I think overall it just fits really well into the scenery and it's, it's all pretty cute. Um, if you don't want to use this as a like a Christmas lot, I suppose that you could download it and use it in any season um, and use it as like a wedding chapel or something. Um, it, it's pretty cute and I made the inside nice and like white and bright, pretty simple so you could you know change it up and use it however you'd like. Um, of course for my 12 days of Simsmith series. I did decorate it to be kind of more festive and, and Christmas-like, um, but I'm sure that you could use it as a cute little wedding chapel. And actually, I might use this as a wedding chapel um, later on when I start to do more gameplay again. I, I think it's a cute, tiny little build, and I like how it turned out uh, overall. So as we're approaching uh, the end of the video here, I just want to thank you for watching. Thank you so, so much if you subscribe to me. Uh, if you watch my videos, if you follow me on Instagram, it means a whole lot. And I can't believe, I mean, I don't have any kind of outstanding numbers at the moment, but um, I only started this account a few months ago. So I can't believe the amount of growth and the amount of amazing people that I've met so far. So thank you so, so much for supporting my tiny little page and for following along and watching my videos uh, does mean a lot. Um, now, before I wrap up here, just a quick note, if you aren't subscribed to me yet, then feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss out on the rest of my 12 days of Sims Miss series and other fun Sims content. And also feel free to follow along on the Sims gallery and on Instagram. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this build and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.